What is up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Humbug Outdoors Fishing. It's your boy C. Smith here. And today, um, I actually have a little bit different of a video. Um, today I am at Dillon Beach, California. Um, and I've been doing a lot of surf perch fishing lately. Um, and I decided that because I've done a lot of it, I wanna show you guys my rig and how I'm catching these perch because it's a really, I mean, perch are probably one of my favorite fish to catch and I just love it. So I'm gonna show you guys my rig on how to catch them. Rod wise, um, you can go a lot lighter. Um, anything between like a seven foot medium to an eight, you know, an eight foot medium is perfectly fine. That, that's ideal. Uh, I'm using a little heavier just because out here there's a lot of stripers as well and I want that little extra support in case I hook one of those. So, so this rod right here is an eight foot six medium fast action um and you can actually have a moderate action as well it just all depends on what weight you're throwing um and i'll get onto that here in a second real wise i'm using a shimano stratic 2500 fa um this is actually their older model um this is the i think it's 2016 model and i love it it works perfectly out here it's saltwater resistant so you don't have to worry about you know breaking gears and you know all that stuff in there you know corrosion and stuff so um works this setup works perfectly fine weight wise so the weight wise is very it's very particular on where you are fishing um here on this beach last day of you know i've been fishing there's been a lot of wind so i've been having to use no less than two ounce you know this is right here is a three ounce egg sinker i've been throwing anything between a two to three ounce works out here um now last time i was here which about a week ago there was i had one day where there was really really calm waves and i was able to grab a one ounce pyramid sinker throw that out there and be fine so it all depends on the water current the depth the wind and everything but for the most part a one to three ounce weight is what you're going to be throwing if you don't know what weight to throw throw a two ounce two ounce is going to be your all-around best weight to throw line wise um, for line, I am throwing uh, like 17 to 20 pound braid. Um, that is perfect because it's still a thin diameter and you're gonna be able to cast it far, but it's also super sensitive. Um, a lot of times when I think of the, my perch fishing, I just think of it as glorified drop shotting um, for you bass guys. And so that's what for your main line, that's what I like. Um, and for my leader material, I used to use 12 and 10 pound, but after a while I started hooking into some striper and other fish and I figured sometimes it's not that good. You know, if you want, uh, you know, if you want a little extra insurance on a bigger fish, you know, there, there's, it's not going to make a difference. Using 10 pound and 15 will not make a difference. So I'm using 15 pound P line fluoro clear. And this rig I actually have on right here is one I made myself. Um, I got it from a buddy down here who, or I got the idea from a buddy down here who uses this rig. And all we're using is just basically, it's kind of an upgraded Carolina rig. So you have your egg sinker, your bead to protect the knot, your swivel, and from here you have your actual, you know, bait, or your actual, you know, you know, line, right? Your, your actual rig. Um, and so on your actual rig, you have your, uh, I use size eight, um, Eagle Claw laser trocar hooks, um, and then you tie you tie a little um, little egg loop knot down here. Uh, I just tie the egg loop knot just because it does make that leader afterwards. Just you want to make sure to snell it with that excess line, and then you're gonna put your trailer, your stinger hook on the end, all right? And you want about a five to six inch gap, and the reason why is because the bait that I throw is the Berkeley Gulp sandworm sand i've used sand crabs i've used a lot of stuff down here and this seems to be the best all-around bait um it's as good as live bait um you can keep in the bags you don't have to worry you're not going to get super stinky with this stuff um you know it's it's just really convenient and it catches fish so all you're going to do is you're going to put the front of the bait on this hook and the back on this because a lot of times you know these are imitating pile worms and when perch hit the pile worm they either hit the back or the front because their goal is is they want to take out those those pinchers that the pile worms have so for the most part you're either going to get hooked on this one or this one there's no in between they will never really snatch the middle you know they kind of just they'll grab one of the heads so that's the nice part about that um, most of the time i have noticed that they hit the back that is the big you know part i've noticed um another little uh thing too if you guys want um i'm using the pro cure sand shrimp and you just dump a little bit of that in the bag and let it sit and i've seemed to notice that that actually catches a little bit more fish um i love the scent berkeley gold pass but this is just it makes it that much better um when you're fishing out there obviously you're gonna want you know 
you're, you know, you're sometimes those fish are 15 feet away. Sometimes those fish are 30 to 40 yards out there. You know, it all depends on what the water is like. Um, so when you find a pool, you know, you want to cast this out and you want to just drag it on the bottom. You know, for you bass guys, you'll know what a Carolina rig is like, you know, or a drop shot. You're just, you're just dragging it on the bottom. They, you know, that, that's it, just drag. And you'll eventually, you know, cause the waves go, they, you know, the, the sand out, you know, the beach out there, it goes like this. And those perch are in those little holes. So when you drag that bait and it falls into one of those little spots, that's when you're gonna get hit. And this has a great hookup ratio. I don't lose very many fish on this rig. Um, uh, because these aren't like saltwater rated hooks, they do get a little rusty, but luckily they're pretty cheap and inexpensive. And these seem to get the job done. And perch are very tasty. So I would completely recommend taking a couple home and uh, cooking them up because they are probably my favorite fish to eat. That's probably it. Um, I don't really, you know, I don't really know if there's anything else. If you guys have any more questions about this type, you know, type of fishing, make sure to leave it in the comments and I'll answer it the best I can. Um, like I said, I'm not a professional surf perch guy at all, but the last couple weeks of summer, I've been safe to say I've been hammering on the surf perch out here and I feel like I'm confident enough to know what I'm doing. You know, I wouldn't try to teach you guys something that I don't know about. Um, so yeah, I have complete confidence in this rig going out tonight again to go fish and I love it. So yeah, if you guys like this video, please make sure to give it a like, comment, subscribe, share, do all that stuff you're supposed to do for a YouTube video. And we will see you guys next time on Humbug Outdoors Fishing. Yay, yay, yay.